Hello and welcome to So You Think You Know Wine, Season 6. I'm James Chatto and I'm joined for this round by Will Predom, Jules Garten and Steve Thurlow. They're going to identify our mystery wine and we are going to score their decisions. They'll get three points for the correct grape variety, four points for the country, region and appellation, and two points for the correct vintage. One point if it's one or year off. So there we are, we're at the Wine Academy in Toronto. We're drinking from Zolto glasses. And I think it's time to get going. Yeah. Well, this is a bubbly wine. This is the first time I think we've had a sparkling wine. Thank you, Steve. On this thing. <laughs> I, I spotted it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's white as well. Yeah. Narrowing it down for us. It's oh, wonderful. yeah, yeah. Give me your way. Yeah. Exactly. Very fresh on the nose. Mm. Nice floral, cool. lemony. Would you say traditional method then? Yeah. yeah. I get the impression. Yeah, I would think Bottle it's fermented. Bottle fermented, yeah. 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 We have uh, some cooler climate regions probably to take a look at. I don't think this is, uh, well, it has some, some, some weight to it as well. So, I mean, Champagne comes to mind, mm -hmm. uh, California also, coastal California or Ontario as well, perhaps even British Columbia. I wouldn't discount Cava here. Mm. There is a Spain. interesting sort of medicinal little quality to the wine. Get some of it from those grapes. And it could also be Prosecco. Yeah, a good, good quarter of a second uh, from northern Italy. And if it is a cuvee of different years, then how, how are you going to find a vintage for this? Or, or well, I, I'm hoping that that wouldn't be the case. Right. So there yeah. was, uh, I'm hoping it is a vintage wine, but we don't know. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, the layers of flavors here. I mean, yeah. uh, well, it's challenging because there are a lot of really great non-vintage sparkling wines out there that, that have vintage character. I think vintage character, often you have more concentration, more uh, expression, even than, than blended vintages, but uh, you know, I've been fooled before. Yeah. What about the length, Jules, do you think it's impressive? Uh, yeah, I definitely think that the wine lingers for a little bit and you get more complex layers sort of developing out of it mm -hmm. um, as well on the palate. I think it's also a blend of grape varieties. I think this could be Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. It has the minerality that Chardonnay gives, but it also has a floral character that I find that uh, Pinot Noir often gives to a blend. So Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, New World Country, I'm thinking either California, coastal California. I do think this is a non-vintage wine. I think this is a blend of different vintages. Final answer, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir blend from United States, California. Sonoma, uh, it'll be, yeah, Sonoma. And about $34.95. I, I kind of agree with most of that, uh, but I think it's from Australia. Uh, that uh, I think it's uh, uh, that's only basically my only difference in that I, I've had wine similar to this recently uh, and mm. it kind of since I put it in my mouth it kind of just something just said to me that that works from I think it's a high quality well made uh, uh, sparkling wine uh, from Australia uh, from Chardonnay and Pinot Noir probably a blend and I'm not sure it's an, it's a mix of vintages let's say it's 2014 do you want to give a, a slightly place? more regional, regional location in Australia? South Australia. South Australia? Okay. Uh, most wines come South Australia. Uh, so uh, probably as well. Appalachian? No, I don't think it's Appalachian wine. I think it's South Australia. Uh, and uh, $25. I do think this is done in a traditional method. There was a lot of autolytic, uh, yeasty, toasty, kind of nutty quality. It may have even seen a little bit of barrel. Uh, but I'm going to stick with my original thought and stay in Spain here. I do think this is a cava, probably re reserve a level, um, uh, done with uh, the traditional grapes of, of cava, Girello, Pereira, uh, Macabeo. Um, and I'll say it is a, a 2009 vintage um, from the Penendez region uh, and uh, price point, say about 30.95. Well, let's bring the wine out. Oh, hey, hey. Well, good there, job. We, uh, we got that one wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Unanimously. Yeah. Yeah. Niagara. Pleasantly Niagara. surprised. Really though. great wine, yeah. 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 And uh, uh, Cuvée Catherine Chardonnay, traditional method. Ontario, Niagara, 2011 is the year. So I was that's close wonderful. to vintage, but and so. $45 is the price. Yes. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's great. Well, I mean, yeah. we were all on the quality realm. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It, but it just shows how difficult it is to to zero in on on a country for a river sparkling wine. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a tie for first place. 
Julie got one point for third place. Steve and Will got two points each. Hey. Hey. Congratulations, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> All right, cheers. Yeah, well done, guys. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>